I'm Giselle. I'm 23 years old, almost at 28, far from. This is a Maris. Oh, that's Lancy. She's 14. She's our helper. Hi, Alice. How I'm going camping. Ice? Yeah, the kids are going on a field trip. Oh. There's a Maris. She's 17. She is my cooking partner. And welcome to our kitchen. We are cooking. It's our kitchen this week. So, you know, it's going to be fun. Monday for lunch we had geese with sauerkraut, a fresh salad, parsnips and carrots as well as cooked spinach. For supper we had garden fresh broccoli and cauliflower roasted, a mandarin almond salad and a rice ball fried rice balls. Tuesday's breakfast I also had in my last cook week, but it's basically fried potatoes, bacon, eggs, cheese and fresh green onions. Tuesday's supper was a stir fry with broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, beef, a few carrots, and baked rice. Tomorrow we are going strawberry picking. We do have strawberries, but we don't have enough, so we have to go to a grower that is located not far away from us. Hi, love. And we are leaving here at 5.30, little after 6. They want to be in the patch and picking strawberries. Even though me and my partner are cooking this week, both of us are going tomorrow. Two of our ladies are going to be cooking for us. Usually the ladies that have young babies stay at home, but then after picking, we, my, my partner and I, are gonna go back to the kitchen and continue cooking. <laughs> a cup of coffee! <laughs>
Alison. It is 9.30 and we are now home, which is perfect timing because usually at 9.30 we head back to the kitchen after our morning break. So I quickly came home, changed out of my dress because it was muddy and wet. Now I'm going to grab my iced coffee and run because I might be a little bit late. I have, lately I have a problem with finding socks. Most of my socks have holes in them. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. I have so many socks with holes, but yeah, anyways. Let's go back to the kitchen. Amaris and I just are cooking this week and we just went with to help pick. But now the rest, the jam making, the quick freezing and the sweetening of the strawberries. There's three there for, there's three different things we do with strawberries. Um, we are still, we are still missing that because we are still cooking. They just needed our help with picking. Because usually mothers that have young babies can't go anyways. Their babies are still young and need them closer to home. So they cook for us while we go pick. Wednesday for lunch we had peas, broiler steak, potatoes with onions and mushrooms, a tossed salad, and radishes. Drying herbs. Umbrella hangers are also for drying herbs. Apparently. Apparently. Not just for hanging up clothes. <laughs> you know, it's actually a nifty idea. It is strawberry season. We got a strawberry lemonade and then dessert. Dessert is strawberry served with whipped cream and sugar. Our people absolutely love this. And then we also added yogurt on the side. Wednesday supper was white chicken chili served with brown rice as well as fresh beets from our garden and a spinach, avocado, pecan, strawberry salad with balsamic vinegar. Ah. Uh, I've been home from the kitchen for about half an hour now. I just got in. At the beginning of the week I thought that I would get out, I would try and get out every day to go for a short walk or a short bike, walk, bike ride to get fresh air and get moving but it is so hot outside. It is plus 31 and it feels like plus 40 oh, Celsius. So. If by the time it cools down, it's too late, I'm not gonna go. We had a very, very, very early morning and it's been a long day. So you know what, if I miss today going for a bike ride or a walk, so be it. Today was leftover day. We had chicken, broccoli and cauliflower, parsnips, carrots, a fresh coleslaw and spinach salad. I then also had the beef stir fry leftover from Tuesday supper, as well as the buckwheat soup that I showed in a previous video. We have that soup every Thursday. It's a little after two and I feel like I could use a nap, but I couldn't sleep. So I just went outside and it's kind of hot. It's fairly hot out here.
For supper, we had a seafood submarine with a crab sauce, cheese, grilled peppers, lettuce, grilled mushrooms and onions, and it was just absolutely delightful. A perfect summer sandwich. As well as a quinoa salad with peppers and tomatoes and radishes. A cook week can be hectic, busy, crazy, fun, and is most definitely tiring. Being responsible for so many people's food is a lot of work. But it is definitely worth it when after the meal, when they show their appreciation, they say thank you. And you can tell by looking at their empty plates that they thoroughly enjoyed the meal. That is what makes it so worth it. Friday for breakfast we had Amish oatmeal served with strawberries and warm milk. For lunch we had whole baked broilers, fresh beets, grilled corn, radishes and a spinach bacon strawberry salad. As well as dumplings. This is a spelled dumpling but we also had regular dumplings. Earlier this morning when I was home for my morning break I had to make a quick trip to our manufacturing shop and on the way back my skirt got cut in my bike and it just ripped a hole and at this point i am frustrated already i know there are rigamajigs and doodads that you can get to prevent that but the one time i don't make a knot in my skirt the one time i end up ripping a hole in my skirt that's almost as big as i am uh, i was so frustrated and Actually, it low-key kind of ruined my whole morning. Hopefully, I'll be able to fix it. I don't know. <sighs> and the dress was fairly new. So there's another disappointment. For supper we had a pasta with bacon, mushrooms, peppers and a tomato sauce. We also had broccoli and cauliflower and leftovers. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, now, now I'm not too happy, you know, I brought my refresher out to drink it on the porch and guess what? Just sell the genius spilled it. Okay, so other than the few mishaps that I've had today, it's been a pretty good day. It was okay. But anyways, I'm going to be spending my evening doing things I love. I have a few things that I want to do. And thank you for coming along with me. I enjoyed bringing you along and showing you another cook week. Yeah, my brother's looking at me weird right now. <laughs> I'll see you next week.